Buenos dias, magandang umaga. Welcome to the inner sanctum of my chamber of chakras. And thank you for joining me on another episode of Astro Affirmation for August 14, 2023. Mufasa Monday, peeps. Remember, remember who you are. Yes, happy birthday, Esteban. Stephen Conley, the man's brother, the cosmetologist of the family, is at the precipice of the big 6 0. Maybe I'll have him cut my hair for his birthday. <laughs> Just the black parts at the end. Yes, I will lay down my hair for your birthday, LOL, JK. <laughs> there is no love without sacrifice, right? How was everybody's weekend? Mine was a little bit scary, but I'll tell you more about that during our coffee talk. So let's sing our theme song to start the show so we can spill some tea, shall we? Sing it with all your heart and soul. Let me hear you loud and clear, okay? Here we go. lavender spade coffee mug with an indigo interior. Grab a cup of whatever because I'm about to spill the tea. Yes. So a few weeks ago, the man had a stomach ache that we thought was just gas or poop. But Last Friday, he came home from work in agony, holding the left side of his upper abdomen like he's having a baby. I told him to go to emergency right away ASAP, stat, urgent, but he waited. He waited it out, grinning and bearing it. But at three o'clock, three-ish in the morning, the pain became too excruciating that I had my son, Jem, take him to emergency at St. Bernardine's. Dignity Healthcare performed a battery of tests on him to find what is causing his abdominal pain. Yeah. They did a CT scan, CBC, the works. Yeah, I like Dignity Health. Yeah, they're just as good as Kaiser now. But yeah, the doctor found that he had diverticulitis. Can you say that? Diverticulitis. Basically, it's trapped poop in the solar plexus. Yes. There's like a hostage negotiation going on right now on the yellow phone of his solar plexus. It's like, 
I want 10K of high fiber and filtered water for life. And we'll let the poop go. Yeah. Diverticulitis is what it's called. Well, well, any medical term that ends with itis tells me that it's an inflammation, like tonsillitis, appendicitis. This one is diverticulitis. Turns out his colon is swollen from food waste blocked from being excreted, and they found a mass on his liver too. Yeah, it's pretty scary. So I told the man, I said, you better make an appointment with your primary care and get that looked at and make sure you get that out, you know, before it gets worse. If there is a mass there, it needs to be biopsied, right? To see if it's cancerous. And if it is, they need to take that out as early as possible. I gotta tell you, the man's been through the ringer this Leo season. Yeah, this Leo season so far has been harsh on the man, right? This is my symbol that I made. It's an original from Mama Magic 369 for the symbol of Leo. So yeah, the man's been through the ringer this Leo season so far. Climaxing with the death of his da, denomanting to the unknotting of his gut, resolved by antibiotics and two other meds to reduce pain and swelling. But he's feeling a lot better now. At least he can walk around and he's more active now. Thank you. But he's still in bitter pain. And, you know, it happens like periodically. Like he'll get an attack of pain. Yeah, he's not well enough to go to work, that's for sure. But he's supposed to go back tomorrow. I told him, I don't think so. I think you should rest. And just keep taking your medicine for about a week before you go back to work, right? I mean, your health comes first. How are you gonna take care of customers or others if you're not feeling well? Yeah. With all the stress of arranging his pop's funeral and clearing out Earl's living space and putting things in order, as far as insurance, probate, and inheritance issues, etc. Shoot, that's a lot on your plate. It's no wonder his body broke down, right? Stress is the spice of life. Freedom from stress is death. That is a quote from Hans Selye, an endocrinologist. How do you say that? endocrinologist, endocrinologist, who did scientific work on stress. Is it a coincidence that Hans Selye's stress model was based on GAS, G-A-S, an acronym for General Adaptation Syndrome, and it's the human body's response to stress, according to Hans Selye, Number one, alarm. Number two, resistance. Number three, exhaustion. Yeah, gas. That was also my motto of choice for my CMC yearbook. Yes, for my graduation picture in here, I'll show you. But yeah, my thesis, my senior thesis was on stress. Yeah, see this um, yearbook? It's called Ayer, 1984, The Music Never Ends, Claremont McKenna College, right? Yeah, here's the class of 84 Alumni Association. Can you find Bernie? Where's Bernie? There she is, <laughs> cool breeze with my sunglasses. 
Oh my gosh. What a character. But yeah, here's my um, senior page. I shared this page with two other people. Yeah, a couple of pages actually. I shared it with my roommate, Marnita Orr, and my pre-med classmate, Donald Walton. Yeah, see my caption here, right here, Bernadette Pena Goko, right? Stress is the spice of life. Complete freedom from stress is death. Hans Selye. Yes, and this is the other page. Look at me in my Bee Gees V dub. <laughs> oh my gosh, those were the days. Anyway, yeah, I conducted an, a psychobiological experiment on campus to test the effectiveness of earplugs on aviators to reduce stress. Yes, I did that. I was pre-med with a major in psychobiology. I experimented on my fellow college students using an unobtrusive device, which I designed myself with 3M, to measure stress by the amount of sweat produced okay because i'm a nervous person naturally so i stress at a drop of a hat but i have learned to control that programmed response by neutralizing my thoughts and taking the path of least resistance as i go with the flow yes gotta go with the flow ride the wave yeah I get started startled easily like sudden loud noises you know I jump yeah and surprises like people and things coming out of nowhere but I try to manage it by laughing or singing like surprise <laughs> Surprise, <gasps> despacito, you know. So the man is the new Earl now, the head of the family. Because he was named after his da. I have an altar right there behind me that I have lit up since he passed. I burn incense and light candles for his soul's respite. For another 26 days I'll be doing that but every day I light a candle and burn incense I'm Filipino so in my culture we believe that when a person's soul leaves the body in death it hangs around family and friends for 40 days before going to to the light you know yeah and that's based on the Bible Jesus Christ stayed on earth for 40 days before he ascended to heaven. Yeah. So the man at this stage um, of preparation for Earl's um, rest in peace, um, he's collecting pictures and putting together a wardrobe for his pops to wear for the viewing. Yeah, this morning he was on the phone with the mortuary and he was asking the lady if he needed to bring shoes. And I interjected, Paul McCartney was barefoot when he crossed the Abbey Road. I don't know why I said that. It was like such a random outburst. Must be the drugs talking. Yeah. Anyway. My daughter TLC aka Trinity Lauren Conley was picked up this morning by her best friend and my daughter from another mother new doll yes we can always depend on new but TLC had her um, oral surgery to pull four not one not two not three but four four of her wisdom 
teeth today all at once. So she is like laid up right now with all kinds of ice packs. Ah, oh, she looked like, I don't know, the ghost of Christmas past from the Scrooge movie, you know, with this thing around her head tied. Anyway, then tonight, my son, Anthony Patrick Conley, AKA Aunt Pat C of Ants BBQ Cookout Channel on YouTube. He's coming. He's arriving from NYC. Yes, to California. He'll be with his wife and kids. He takes them all on his travels. Yes. So he's here. He's going to be here for Earl's funeral. And then he's got some footage to take or whatever work he does for the channel um, here in California. So they'll be staying for about a month, I was told. But I'm so excited to see them again, especially my first and so far my only grandkids, Lily and Lulu. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm so psyched. I need some more coffee. Anyway, yeah, enough about my Mama Magic 369 drama. On with the show! Today's color is indigo, the deep blue water of the Indian Ocean, dark blue of the sky on a clear night, the light of the third eye chakra, our sixth sense. Yes. See, this is our core the core of our being and it's got seven centers of energies that is in charge of the different aspects of our bodies right yeah today we are honoring the third eye chakra the ajna in sanskrit ajna means command perception beyond wisdom for the third eye chakra is the center of higher intelligence and intuition. It is associated with all things in the mind and is located at the core of the brain in the eye of Horus. Here's my drawing of the eye of Horus. It's an Egyptian symbol for the area of the brain where the pineal gland sits. You see, I've even labeled it for you. The parts of the eye is, are labeled with corresponding parts of the core of the brain, right? Eyebrow is the corpus callosum. This hook line here is the medulla oblongata. There's the hypothalamus and the pituitary gland is there and the pineal gland is over here, right? That's the thalamus. Let me show you the cross section of the brain that I printed out from the internet. You see, I even drew, drew in the eye of Horus. If you can see, it's in red. But that's the area of the brain where the pineal gland sits, okay? So that's the area that's depicted by the eye of Horus. The, the um, physical counterpart of the third eye is the pineal gland, okay? Here is the pineal gland right there on the side of the iris, okay? You remember my drawing of the eye of Horus, okay? It's right there on the side of the eye of Horus, okay? Yeah, so this pineal gland in the core of the brain secretes what I call the honey Honey that soothes the mind and calms the soul. Melatonin, 
flows from the pineal gland in the absence of physical light or artificial light or any kind of light, which activates the third eye, our inner vision, okay? In the darkness of closed eyes, the third eye opens and illuminates hidden secrets of the past, present, and future. It powers our psychic abilities, clairvoyance, and other clairs, as well as our ability to discern spiritual matters and see beyond the visible, beyond the veil of illusion to know the truth behind the lies. Ironically, the one place in the world that has kept me from the truth is designed to represent the third eye chakra. Yeah, have I shown you this before? If I can find it. Yeah, the Vatican City. Yes, this is the aerial view of the Vatican City. And I cut it out to um, look like the shape of the brain just to show how they're so similar, okay? Tell me why it's laid out like that, right? It's laid out like the human brain and constructed with an open courtyard in the center representing the area of the brain where the pineal gland is, right? Look at that. This even um, shows the spinal cord that leads up to the core of the brain. Yeah. Just look at the similarity between this picture of the brain and the Vatican City. Am I right? What's more is in this little nook right there, right? The corner of the St. Peter's Basilica building on the side, on the outside of the building next to that center is a cove called Fontana de la Piña. I'm going to show you what that cove looks like. This is the Fontana de la Piña. Translated in English is the fountain of the pine. And in this area, right, is a pine cone statue flanked by two peacocks. Coincidentally or not, the pineal gland in the brain is in is shaped like a pine cone. Okay? Another one of those things that make you go, hmm, right? Yeah, Illuminati confirmed. The third eye chakra is the pathway of illumination to reach the door to the divine, which opens wide to enlightenment, right? The Lion's Gate portal is now closed. It opened July 28th, apexed August 8th, and closed yesterday. So I hope y'all made magic happen. Turn frogs into princesses. Pew. <laughs> yes, turn lead into gold. <laughs> Elephants pink, pigs winging. Oh yeah, I did. I have my McGonagall's wand here. purchased for me by my daughter and best friend TLC aka Trinity Lauren Connolly from Ollivanders at Universal Studios Hollywood. Oh yeah.
Yeah, you don't have to say anything. You just think, feel, and point. Yes, transfiguration is all about the intention. So make it positive to serve yours and others' best interest for humanity's highest good. Yes, transfigure. Yes, it's the revelation of the true self by living inside out and bringing heaven on earth, right? Yes. Putting into motion new and improved way of thinking and feeling. Today, the moon is in the same sign as the sun. They're together in the sign of Leo. Right? The sign of the ego and the heart. Right? Yes, we are in Leo season. The sign of ego motion, the mind and the heart. Right? Here's the glyph that I drew to show how we need to balance ego and heart, right? Heart brain coherence to function well in life. The balancing of the external wants and internal desires for attention. Yes, the mind falling in love with the heart that beats to serve the ego. Oh, yeah. So all you Leos out there, yes, you, Stephen, it's your birthday. It's your birthday. Hey, <laughs> open up and receive the greatest gift of all, the oil of anointing pouring down from the core of your brain. Yes, your pineal gland is secreting the honey and the pituitary gland is secreting the milk, carrying that spiritual seed in a sacred secretion that's flowing down your spine right now. Let it flow freely and take root at the base to sprout and grow and mature and evolve into the truest of who you are so you can live your fullest potential. Yes. So wear indigo today. Look, I'm wearing this, this mini dress that was handed down to me by my Tortua, my eldest daughter, Brittany. B. C. Roberts. Yes. And I can't believe it fits me so well. <laughs> Surround yourself with deep purple. When the deep purple falls over sleepy garden walls and the stars begin to twinkle in the sky in the midst of my memory you wander on back to me breathing my name with a sigh ooh, ooh. Oh, yeah Donnie and Marie show remember they used to always end their show with that song yeah their variety show in the late 70s like 76 to 79 I think I love them anyway yeah indigo will open activate and balance the third eye chakra and the hand position is four fingers, remember? And the middle fingers together, pointing up, the rest clasp, right? And remember the, the mantra, there are two. Sham, the sound vibration of the world. And Om, the sound vibration of the universe. Okay, yes, the symbol is a lotus flower with two petals. 
representing the polarities in life, right? As in Sham and Om, Sham the world, Om the universe, right? Light and dark, like the yin yang symbol, right? Masculine and feminine, like the Gemini symbol, right? Yes, left brain, right brain, right? Yes, the inverted triangle in the center of the circle shows the flow of energy from the lower chakras and entering right here at this point, spreading and rising to expand at the top towards complete consciousness, okay? Yes. So we are approaching the end of this phase and the start of a new lunar cycle. Here's my symbol for the Ouroboros, the snake that eats his own tail. Okay, we are here where the snake eats his own tail, the end and the beginning at the same point, right? See you at the crossroads. I'm going to miss everybody. I'm going to miss everybody. Every day and we pray and we pray every day. Yeah, so that's the kind of mood that we're in here at the Big Blue House. Yeah, because the funeral is coming up in a week, right? A week from now, a week from tomorrow to be exact. And we feel safe in this moment of grief as we come together as a family in praise and admiration for our dearly departed Earl Conley. So I just have one advice for all of us. Open your minds and hearts to criticisms, okay? Transform them. transfigure them into positive feedback to make you better, to make your life better, yeah? Yeah. I leave you now with these Bible passages to reflect on today. The first one is from Matthew chapter 6, verses 22 through 24. The eye is the lamp of the body. So, if your eye is is healthy your whole body will be full of light but if your eye is bad your whole body will be full of darkness if then the light in you is darkness how great is that darkness no one can serve two masters for either he will hate the one and love the other or he will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and money. Next one is from Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. And the last one. Revelations chapter 12, verse 1. And a great sign appeared in heaven. A woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and on her head a crown of 12 stars. That last passage was a vision that the man's mom, Ida Mae Peacock, had when she lived here at the Big Blue House. Yes, she told me about it. She was inspired by this vision of a lady clothed by the sun and the moon under her feet and 12 stars around her head. Yes, it inspired her to write a book entitled Words from Heaven in the Name of Jesus Christ which I transcribed, edited, and published for her on Google Docs. Here's a paper copy of it. Yeah, it's 
not that long, but it's got a lot of content. It's 12 pages for the 12 stars around the woman's head and her vision. Oh my gosh, it's all connected. All right, P, Ida. Finally, Ida is together with Earl. We've always, you know, asked either of them while they were still living. When are you going to get back together? When are you going to get back together? <laughs> they're always shaking their head. But now they're together again. Yes, they're all reunited and it feels so good. Reunited because it's understood. There's one perfect thing. And sugar, this one is it. We both are so excited because we're reunited. Hey, hey. Oh, yeah. Reminds me of the saying, if it don't fit, don't force it. Or if it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> I don't know what that has to do with the price of tea in China, but... That's all I have for you today. And once again, I honor God in you and me. Namaste.